32 Broncos players were kneeling during the national anthem Sunday ahead of their game against the Buffalo Bills. Star outside linebacker Von Miller was among them, along with the majority of the defense and players on the practice squad. Kicker Brandon McManu set his hand on the shoulder of guard Max Garcia, who kneeled. An outside linebacker Shaquille Barrett and tight end Virgil Green stood with their fists raised in the air. Head coach Vance Joseph and offensive coordinator Mike McCoy stood for the anthem. Joseph broached the subject directly and succinctly during the team's Saturday night meeting. He told his players he supported them. He encouraged them to stick together and emphasized a focus on the game ahead, against the Buffalo Bills. However they wished to address the matter after the game, he would have their backs. In the near 36 hours since President Donald Trump called on NFL owners to fire son-of-a-bitch national anthem protesters, then doubled down on his stance via social media, NFL executives, owners, coaches and players responded with strong comments and support of their game and their athletes. Broncos President-slash-CEO Joe Ellis issued a statement to reiterate the team's support of its players and admiration for their dedication to making our team the absolute best it can be. He didn't name Trump, nor did he mention the president's comments. General Manager John Elway also spoke to Joseph and has been involved in the team's discussions and handling of the matter internally. Many other teams convened Saturday evening to decide what they would do before their game Sunday, be it a protest or a show of unity or nothing at all. But for the Jacksonville's game against the Ravens in London, Jaguars owner Shadid Khan, who donated $1 million to Trump's presidential campaign, stood with his arms locked with tight end Mercedes Lewis and linebacker Telvin Smith. Dozens of players from both teams kneeled during the anthem.